With so much at stake in a game of poker, emotions can run high, players can lose their cool, and outbursts can occur. You're gonna be the only man to like, do something like that, baby. Here are five times we witnessed maximum tilt. You come to my game and you're wasting my time. At number five, Ryan D'Angelo thought he was teaching Ben Zamani a lesson at the PCA 2010 final table, but it ended up being a demonstration of rather poor etiquette. D'Angelo's gonna bet here. He should get Zamani to fold the ace high. It's quite a smallish bet though, isn't it? Into a pretty big pot. That was about 1.4 million in the pot. He only bets 375,000, about 25% of the pot. I like that. Should get Zamani to fold, but he doesn't. He makes the call with ace high, and the rivers are blank. Ace high is good. Ace high is good, but it's going to be pretty tough to win with this with, if he checks. He, he's going to have to bet to, to win this pot. Question is if D'Angelo thinks he's light here, can he take him off the hand with a raise? Yeah, I think if, if D'Angelo decides that uh, he's going to get involved here, he should be raising. Instead, he calls. You win. He calls. I guess I guess he puts him on 6-7 or 5-6 here. No, Ryan's sister. He's lost. Oh, my God. I called you with queen high, dude. Queen six. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. That hurts. I thought I might have the best thing. I didn't think he'd call with a worse hand. You're so bad. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is he talking to himself or Ben? It's the sickest thing ever. Like, oh my god. <laughs> you really called pre with that? So bad. Oh, he's talking to Zamani. Wow. You three bet queen six pre, so I don't think he can point fingers. Yeah, I guess, but that's the sick. What are you doing, Ben? Oh my god. I think it's time to move on, Ryan. What are you doing? So bad. Strong words from Ryan, but at least the entire poker room wasn't exposed to his venting. At four, check out this blink and you'll miss it moment from EPT 10 Barcelona, as Max Greenwood gets it in good, only to lose less than gracefully. Kings against Jacks with just one card to come. And it's a Jack! Oh boy. A brutal beat for Greenwood. Are kidding me? Oh. Maximum Greenwood, maximum tiltage. A tad shouty, but clearly an honest reaction. Oh, God. Christ. The jury's still out on Tony G in the big game. Was he genuinely upset or just trying to push Andrew Robel over the edge? I'm going to bet 50. Tony bets 50,000. See if you're a real man. 50,000. Tony's playing mind games to make it look like he's trying to buy it, and he's even making it personal. Yesterday, he told Daniel he was going to put the pressure on Robo, and he's doing it now. Oh, I want to call the clock. I want to call the clock. Come on, on internet you play like in one second. And when you come here now, you come to my game and you're wasting my time. Uh, on the internet, people on don't bike. bet three times a pot every on hand. On your bikes! Get Amanda! Needy Amanda! Needy bring a tricycle! <laughs> Call the clock! Bring your tricycle! It's bring ridiculous! It. I mean, this These kids are coming here, story. taking me on! Tony, calm down, please. Tony, okay. I need to know that you bring a bike for me. So if I ship it all in, do I get a bike? <laughs> bike Elise, do I get a novelty prize? Now okay. you're mocking the man. Now, you're, you're on the clock, you've got one minute, and then we're going to do a 10-second countdown, all right? That is floor man Tom Keen putting Andrew Robel on the clock. This is all part of Tony's mind games to try to get Andrew steamed enough to call. Okay, you're at one minute, you got 10-second countdown. At 10 seconds, your hand will be dead. 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bold. Let's see a, a, a deuce nine. <laughs> a deuce and a nine, Tony G. Good fold. 
He didn't show up. So this is a good fold. Good fold. Made the hero lay down. What did you have? The uh, pair of sixes. What did you have, Ice Queen? <laughs> around, uh, around that. Credit to Robel for keeping his cool. The same can't be said for Vanessa Selbst at EPT8 Berlin. Going deep in the main event, she found herself seated opposite her friend, Kevin McPhee. Cute, completely unnecessary conflict. Vanessa re-raises a four bet to 79,000. Against just about any other player, I think this is the point where Kevin would probably ditch this like an ugly date on prom night. Whoa, he's just five bet to 131,000. Aya with ace nine offsuit. Now take what I just said about Kevin and apply it to Vanessa. How much do you have left? You know, like this many. This is absolute insanity with these two hands. Did we get the graphics right? Come on, Wayne. She's six best shoves. Double Aya. Still probably have the best hand. Title defense. <laughs> Two years later, I call. OMG, he calls. You have ace jack? No. I have a pair. I have an ace nine. Correct reaction. You're complicit in this too, Selfsty. What just happened? Huh? I think that's a snap. Snap fold, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. There's him. Nice call, I guess. The flop has an ace on it. <laughs> because you're Vanessa Selbst. McPhee takes the lead. Vanessa needs a four. Sick race. Nice time. But Fee's set to get a huge double up here. And another ace for good measure. The needle. She can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? As hard as it is to believe, that just happened. Very nice, man. My plan was to call, but I it's wanted so good. to make no, sure. No, it's a nice I mean... so yeah. Does Liv even know what happened? She's about to find out. The worst play I've ever seen. What? She like was after me every time. I have no idea why. He's a friend of mine. He put that on TV. It's the worst play ever. I don't know why friends going after me, but he does it every single tournament. He goes after me. Hmm. Liv's face says it all. Well, no countdown of blocks would be complete without the poker brat himself. In fact, he may be deserving of a top five of his own. Way. At number one, here's the best of the worst of Phil Helmuth Jr. A lot of players would feel forced or frustrated into calling here, but great players, they fold here sometimes. Oh, man. That's only sometimes. Let's see if Phil can get away. Calls. King, I only play the nuts like you, buddy. Dario wins a $55,000 pot. If I have it. Oh, boy, that's going to be the one. It's just unreal what happens to me at this place. I mean, it's just, I'm just so sick of it, you know? I mean, I just I mean, I had the best on the turn, I had the best on the river. You guys have two outs every pot we yeah, play. Yeah, that's the best on preflop. And I had the best on preflop, unless you're yeah, seven. nice hand, buddy. Actually, come to think of it, maybe this one is worse. Tony G makes the call. <laughs> Still looking to the cameras for answers. Are they, is this for real? Are they recording this? I mean... <laughs> Are they recording this? Is this for real? I mean, I... No, Phil, you're not being punked. Yeah, it's for real. He does fold. Nice, nice, nice. It's just it's so much fun here, I mean... Uh... I wanted to give you the, the opportunity to participate. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> That's all. Uh, don't worry, Tony. I just had pocket tens. That's all. I just yeah, had a bad just feeling. Had you had the queens. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. This outburst is probably more deserving of first prize. Call. That's ten grand. Phil calls. Good call. Sees the bad news. He has a full house. You didn't raise. At least maybe we'll get the blow up we're all waiting for. I know you got a flush. The nine. <laughs> this guy's raising. He's got nine. He dropped. Explosion's about go. to happen. <laughs> Bring the trike! I need the, the trike! trike. Oh, you can't drive a bike. <laughs> God, this is extraordinarily. 
It's just so unlucky. I'm get, really getting sick of this. Four or five off suit. Please. The game will even out. Bottom pair against <laughs> top pair. Uh, bottom pair against top pair. Come where on, where I, he's going to pay me off another seven, eight thousand. But no, he, he fills up and wins six, 14 for me. You're a disgrace to the game. <laughs> Where do you come up with that? I'll tell you, can He's I, can I, can I, can I tell you one thing, Tony? Can I tell you one thing? No, I, you're, you're disgraced. Can I tell you one thing or not? Are you just going to interrupt me? Because if you interrupt, go ahead. I just won't say anything. Yeah, yeah, let right. him talk. I want to hear. I'm curious. I'm can I tell you one thing? I wish that I weren't a bad loser sometimes, but it's ten times as bad to be a bad winner. And you're a bad winner, my friend. Well, that Helmuthian explosion concludes our top five blow-ups. It's so sick. Oh my god. Keep watching Pokestars.tv for more countdowns. Kidding me.